My name is Jason Lidyard. I'm a district court judge in the first judicial district of New Mexico. The first judicial district comprises of three counties, Santa Fe County, Rio Riva County, and Los Alamos County. And in those three counties, I'm a trial judge. I deal with a lot of individuals who come in the criminal justice system due to substance use. So in my work as a lawyer as well as a judge, I have worked with CPSWs on a very extensive basis and for quite some time now. My first work with peer support workers was when I was a prosecutor at the district attorney's office in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And that was my first exposure of working with peer support workers. And it was an incredible experience to watch, um, to see the way that peer support workers were able to connect with people who were suffering from substance use disorders, who were finding themselves in the criminal justice system, and the connection that peer support workers could make with those individuals, which I had never seen in any other program that I had worked in the criminal justice system with. And from that experience, when I became a judge, I began to incorporate peer support workers in different parts of the criminal justice system in my court. Peer support workers have a ability to connect with individuals involved in the criminal justice system who are suffering from substance use disorders in a way that is unprecedented and cannot be compared to any other individual that I have seen working in the criminal justice field. Given their lived experience, their firsthand knowledge of what someone in the criminal justice system suffering from substance use disorder faces has the ability to make changes in their life that we just don't see with other players in the criminal justice system. Since I have begun working with peer support workers in the criminal justice system, it's been interesting to see how many people ask me to have a peer support worker assigned to them or ask if they could continue working with a peer support worker after I've assigned one to them. People who I've never even spoke to about my peer support workers will ask me during their sentencing, judge, can I have a peer support worker assigned to me? Actually, they, they know my peer support worker's name, um, and his name is Sixto, and they'll ask me, without ever even me bringing it up, judge, can I report to Sixto? Can he work with me? Um, and the fact that there are people who are sitting in custody who come to sentencing asking for that from me means that the word is getting around about the peer support workers and what they can provide in the way of assistance and help and um, the, the benefits that they bring to individuals that they work with that when someone comes before me for sentencing, they explicitly ask that one be assigned to them. And for me, I don't need to see a statistic or a data point to prove after seeing that happen that there's benefits to having peer support workers work with individuals in the criminal justice system. So advice that I would have for any peer support worker who is interested in working in the criminal justice system and for the courts would be to have confidence in yourself and to know that what you have is a particular skill set that no one else has and is so much needed in our system. We need people who have that lived experience. We need individuals who have walked in the footsteps of those who are coming into the criminal justice system to help provide guidance to those who are just starting off so that they can get through in an easier fashion than what the peer has dealt with themselves. For anyone who's interested in or is thinking about 
hiring on a peer support worker, anyone involved in the criminal justice system, I would simply ask them to be bold, try new things. The system as we have it now is not working the way that it should. And we need people who have gone through the system to be involved in the system so that it can change to be a better system that works for individuals and improves their lives. And the only way that we can get there is by listening to people who have dealt with it themselves, who have gone through it, get involved in the system so that we can make it a better system overall.